Namaste dear students. Today we are going to see another important branch of mathematics called algebra. In class 10th you have 20 marks weightage for this algebra complete lesson. Sorry, complete topic. The lessons which come under algebra for class 10th are one is polynomials, linear equation in two variables, quadratic equation and arithmetic progression. Okay, this four together carries 20 marks. Marks weightage will differ from paper to paper. Okay, let's see which branch, which topic among this we are going to see today. For that, first I think you may have to go back to your previous classes, say class 6th. If you remember, in class 6th, you had learned a new branch called or new topic called algebraic expression. Do you all remember that? Yes. So, what is an algebraic expression? Try to recollect it. Okay, an algebraic expression, if you see, is an expression which contains terms and coefficients. Isn't it? The, co the terms are, uh, or to say, uh, arranged in such a form with mathematical operations added to it. Yes? So, you would have learnt about uh, the words like terms, coefficients, degree, power, isn't it? Variable. So many things you would have learnt under that. Yes. So that reminds me to ask you, have you heard the term polynomials as well? Yes. Is there any difference between an algebraic expression and a polynomial? Do you, do anyone feel there is a difference or you feel it's the same? There is difference, no? Yes. Let's see the difference. If I give you an example, x cube plus x square minus 5i x plus 6. Where will you categorize this? Once again, x cube minus x square plus 5 by x plus 6. Where will you categorize this? Algebraic expression or a polynomial? Do you feel it can be either of the thing? No children. Why? Let me tell you. The definition for polynomials is polynomials are algebraic expressions with non-negative integers as powers. What do you mean by non-negative? The powers of the variable that you see. You know the power, isn't it? When I say x square, when I say x cube, when I say 1 by x, there is a power for each of the thing. So here, when I say x cube, power of x is 3. When I say x square, the power of x is 2. When I say 1 by x, what is the power of x? Yes, it is x to the power negative 1. If you can see here, 1 by x is nothing but x to the power negative 1. So, polynomials cannot have non-negative powers. What do you mean by non-negative? Means, it can have only non-negative powers. Means, the power can be 0 or positive numbers. Okay? Then why, didn't, why was it not told not negative? Is there any difference in saying non-negative and not negative? Yes, there is a difference. Not negative means it can be only positive. Non-negative means it can be positive as well as 0. When I give an example, say the number 5. Okay, how can I write the number 5 as? I can write the number 5 as 5x to the power 0. Isn't it? So, here I have used a variable and the power is 0. So, 5 is a polynomial. So, it can have 0 power. Yes, but it cannot have negative. So, where will you categorize this x plus 1 by x? As algebraic expression. It is not a polynomial, it is an algebraic expression. Hope now you understood the difference between algebraic expression and a polynomial. So polynomials will contain only non-negative powers for the variables. So we are considering, now let me ask you, further you would have learnt the classification of these polynomials. Actually, these polynomials are classified under two things. The first one is de depending on the number of terms that it has. Like if it has one term, it is called monomial, two terms binomial, three terms trinomial, four terms, yes, quadrinomial, five terms, pentanomial, and so on. In general, it is polynomial, okay? 
So you have various names depending on the number of terms. Let's not bother about that. Let's see the other type of classification. The other type of classification is, is based on their degree of the polynomial. What do you mean by degree? Degree is nothing but the highest power of the variable in a polynomial. When I say x cube minus 5x square plus 6, what is the highest power here? 3, isn't it? So 3 is the degree of the polynomial. So based on degree also, the polynomials are categorized as, if the degree is 1, it's called linear. Okay? If the degree is 2, it is called quadratic. If the degree is 3, it is called cubic. And if the degree is 4, it is called biquadratic. All these types are based on the degree of a polynomial. Okay? So we are taking the polynomial with degree 2. What is it called? Quadratic. So we are going to deal with something of quadratic. Now let us see what is a quadratic polynomial. So quadratic polynomial has degree 2. Let me tell in general ax square plus bx plus c. Can we classify as a quadratic polynomial? Yes. And we know that when a polynomial is equated to 0, it becomes an equation. Means if I equate ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, equal to 0, it becomes an equation. And because it is quadratic, it is called quadratic equations. So we are going to study about quadratic equations now. So how do you define quadratic equations? Quadratic equations is an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a not equal to 0. Do you, have you ever wondered why is it written a not equal to 0? What will happen if a is equal to 0? Yes, if a is equal to 0, this term goes off. Isn't it? What remains? bx plus c equal to 0. What type of equation does it become? Yes, it becomes a linear equation. Simple equation, linear equation it becomes. But we are learning about quadratic. That is why this condition is very, very important that for a quadratic equation, A should not be equal to 0. So let me define a quadratic equation is an equation of the form AX square plus BX plus C equal to 0 where A, B, C are real numbers. It can be any number A, B and C. They are constants and real numbers. And A not equal to 0. That is how you define quadratic equation. Now, if you go back to our earlier centuries, it was our Indian mathematician first who studied about uh, quadratic equations. The first mathematician to study about was Brahmagupta. He arrived at so many methods of finding um, equations or solving quadratic equations. Then later, after some time came an Arab mathematician called Al-Khwarizmi. He also studied a lot about this algebra and quadratic equations. Okay? And it was our Indian mathematician by the name Sridharacharya who found out a method called quadratic formula for solving a quadratic equation. Okay? And this quadratic formula is used all over now to solve a quadratic equation. He used the idea of completing the squares. What is this completing squares under? You learn in the later part of the lesson. Okay? So... That are, these are the three main mathematicians associated with quadratic equations. So let me get back. So we know what is a quadratic equation. Now, to solve a quadratic equation, we need to know something called what is a root or a zero or solution of a quadratic equation. Solve means it should have a solution. Isn't it? What does the solution of a quadratic equation mean? Let's see. For that, I am considering a general quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 okay in place of x i'm putting some number alpha okay in the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c in place of x i put some alpha and i find that the value becomes 0 you did, did any time in your mind factor theorem come it should come because we are not in 9th standard isn't it factor theorem p of x a p x is equal to a is a factor isn't it? We have learned if p of a equal to 0, you have a polynomial p of x 
and x equal to a when put it in it you get an answer zero it's called a factor factor theorem you have learned isn't it same thing applies here also so we just name it as zero or a root of solving or solution of a quadratic equation so what is the zero of a quadratic equation so we say alpha is a root of the equation a x square plus b x plus equal to zero if x equal to alpha satisfies the equation what do you mean by satisfy the equation it means that when you put alpha in place of x when you put alpha and you get an answer zero it satisfies the equation okay that is meant by root of a quadratic equation now tell me only alpha will be there only one number will be there for a quadratic equation no isn't it why the degree of quadratic is 2 so mi minimum at most it will have two zeros or two roots it should have isn't it ha huh, for a quadratic equation it will have two roots probably generally we call it alpha and beta so alpha and beta are the roots of a quadratic equation in the later part of the lesson we will learn the different methods of solving a quadratic equation and then what are the different methods we will see and the methods go something like this the first one is called by the method of factorization you have learned the different factorization methods in your ninth standard using identities splitting middle terms isn't it all these will come again here so the first the second exercise will be a review exercise kind for you because you have already learned factorization in class 8th and 9th you are just applying those methods to solve and get the answer yes and second method is called completing the squares which is actually deleted from the syllabus and the third one is called using quadratic formula that is sridhar acharya's rule so you have only two methods that you are learning in this lesson further we have application of this in the form of word problems okay so initial part of the lesson will be given an equation you have to identify whether it is a quadratic equation or not okay it you cannot probably looking at it so you cannot say it will not be simple like it will be given x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 is it quadratic that will not be the question you may have to some simplify and things and then find it out that is your first exercise with some framing quadratic equation you will be given a statement and you have to frame a an equation for that we have probably learned it in our ninth standard is it to frame a uh, linear equation and all we have learned similarly here quadratic equation framing you will be learning that will be your first exercise later you will start solving equations by different methods okay these are this is the complete a uh, lesson this is what you find the different concepts or topics in this lesson so quadratic hope you understood what is a quadratic equation what are roots or it is the names can be roots or solve solution of a quadratic equation many when you solve a quadratic equation it is reduced to two linear factors means if you have an equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 let me write here x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 it will be written as x minus 2 into x minus 3 these are the two linear factors of this x square minus 5x this will be equated to 0 each of these factors will be equated to 0 and the uh, roots are found out from that that method we will be learning in the further classes i think hope this much thought is clear to you yes we will see in the next session धन्यवाद सर